Let's face it, pest control can take time. Buying and spraying organic pesticides, buying, planting, and maintaining companion plants. <sighs> but what if there was a way to shirk some of your responsibilities, be lazy, and still keep pests in line? My new favorite form of pest control is companion planting. I've already done a few videos on that this year. I'll link them down below. But right now, between seasons, it's hard to have enough or the right companion plants ready for the job. And pests are increasing as the weather warms up. My planned companion plants for this summer are still seedlings. So how do you use plants that are already growing in your garden to keep pests at bay until these guys are ready to go out there and take over the job. Well, throughout the cool season, I've been growing carrots, chard, um, cilantro, and arugula. And right now, those are getting ready or starting to bolt. And what do we normally do with crops that are starting to bolt? Pull them up, throw them in the compost. Instead of doing that, leave some of them to go to flower. You can see my chard is bolting for sure hasn't started blooming just yet but almost and i'm just going to leave it there my cilantro in this container is bolting and just about to bloom and look at this arugula in the past few days since it started to bloom i've seen tons of honeybees and lace wings and uh, hoverflies they've all really been enjoying these early season blossoms. All the types of plants I just mentioned that are going to flower are the perfect plants to attract all of the beneficials who actually will take care of aphids and all those other pests we hate at this time of year. Early flowering plants like that are very important to our honeybee population because coming out of winter, the food in their hive, the honey, is actually dwindling and they've got to go out and find the very few and far between plants that are flowering at this time of year. So providing them extra food by letting some of the cool season plants go to flower goes a long way to that end. So there's the excuse you need to not have to get out there and start pulling up old bolting plants. You're welcome. And hey, check out one of these two videos on companion planting and hairy vetch.